This video reviews two algebra techniques. The first is simplifying a fraction involving quadratics. The second is expanding three brackets. Now, if you're asked to simplify a fraction involving quadratics, then the question wants you to factorise the top and the bottom of the fraction separately. And then you'll see what happens. Now, at the top of this fraction, you've got to find two brackets which expand to either x squared minus 16. Now, the factors of minus 16 are plus 4 and minus 4. So the top actually becomes x plus 4 and x minus 4. The reason being, if you try to expand this, x, 4, x, and minus 4, we get an x squared of 4x, a minus 4x, and a minus 16. And the 4x and the minus 4x cancel out, and you're left with x squared minus 16. So the top of the fraction is just x plus 4 and x minus 4. Now, for the bottom of the fraction, I've got to find two numbers which times to make minus 4, which add to make minus 3. Now, the factors of minus 4 are either 2 times minus 2, or 4 times minus 1, or 1 times minus 4. Now, if you look at this factor pair, 1 times minus 4 is minus 4. But 1 take away 4 is minus 3. So if I show you this, if I write down x plus 1 and x minus 4, if I try to expand this, look what happens. x and 1, x and minus 4, I get an x squared, I get a 1x. I get a minus 4x, and 1 times minus 4 is minus 4. And x squared is correct. 1x take away 4x is minus 3x. And 1 times minus 4 is indeed minus 4. So therefore, this factorise goes to x plus 1 and x minus 4. So the idea here is to play around with numbers until you get the 1 which expands to give you the right expression. What you then do is you then look at the top and the bottom and we cancel off the things that are the same, the factors which are the same, which is x minus 4 and x minus 4. These cancel off, and we're left with x plus 4 on the top, and x plus 1 on the bottom, and this is the fraction simplified. So again, we factorise the top and the bottom, we cancel, and then write down a simplified answer. Part B then asks us to expand three brackets. Lots and lots of techniques for expanding brackets. However, the trick to expanding three brackets is to multiply together two of the brackets first. I'll pick the first two. So I'm going to work out what x plus 3 and x minus 4 is. I get x squared, I get a 3x, a minus 4x, and a minus 12. Which, being very careful here with the signs, gives me an x squared. 3x take away 4x is minus 1x, with a minus 12. So, the first to expand to give me a new answer. I now times this answer by the remaining bracket. So I do a bigger grid. Or whatever method you use to expand brackets. So x squared minus x minus 12 multiplied by the final bracket. So x cubed minus x squared minus 12x. 5x squared minus 5x, minus 60. 
Then the answer, therefore, is x cubed. 5x squared take away 1x squared is 4x squared. Minus 5x take away 12x is minus 17x. And last but not least, I've got a minus 16. So therefore, these three brackets expand to give this as an answer.